Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to change the um, size of a view in Swift. So, by view, I don't just mean a UI view, I mean any type of view, such as image view, label, button, um, anything like that. So, I'll just call this change um, image view size, since I'll use an image view as an example, since it's easier to see. But, for my example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an image view and I'm also going to have a button which will um, change the size of the image view so if I align the button there and then I give it 25 under the button uh, 25 there and we'll give it height and width constraints like so what else does it need? does it need a horizontal constraint? yeah okay so now this button can be called change image view size and for each image view I'll set the background color to uh, let's see I guess I can just set it to um, blue since I never do blue alright so now once we've done that we have to just create outlets so I'll just set that as image view and change size like that once you've done that, inside of this change size function, this is where we're actually going to change the size of the imagery, obviously. And it's pretty easy. All we're going to do is change the height height constraint. Um, so if I do image view dot height anchor dot constraint is equal to, and that was the wrong uh, thing. But if we just do constraint equal to and then we have to do equal to constraint or is it constant? yep uh, cg float and then this is where you set it so I guess I can set it to 100 I have to remember to do is active equal to true and let's just do the same thing for the width anchor so it becomes a square and that's actually it so here you choose how big it is once you've done that if we click build and we should see that the imagery changes when I click the button so click it and you see it changed like that and it does have a few errors here but you can ignore those like this is probably one of those things you can just ignore since um, where is it here uh, you can see it worked perfectly and what you could actually do is if you want to increase its size then if you get image view height you can get image view dot frame dot size dot height and same thing for its width like that image view width you could just get that and then instead of here instead of it being a hundred we could do plus like twenty five and image view width plus twenty five and now what this will do is just increase its width and height rather than just setting it to a constant value um, or maybe not as it maybe it's not working um, hmm that's weird uh, I guess that didn't work as expected let's see image view height and let's just check what type it is ok it's a CG float so let's just see if it seems to work if we click it the first time we see that it prints 128 okay that makes sense and if we print it again we see that it prints 100 okay so why wasn't this working um, maybe if I add 25 there maybe it will work now image view height and let's just try and set the height there first just to see if it will work you know uh, so hmm that's very weird because uh, okay 153.0 and if I click it one more time now oh it's still 153.0 so maybe there's a limit I'm not sure that doesn't seem to be working or maybe you have to do something like cancelling it but I guess this might be a little more tough if you want to actually have a dynamic thing 
So yeah, it seems to work perfectly if you just want to set it to a fixed number such as 100 or anything else you want. But yeah, so thanks for watching and this is how you change a view's sites in Swift. See you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.